It's been a long time since I filmed one of these videos. Hey guys, my name is Mia and today we're gonna be doing a what's on my iPhone 13 Pro Max. It's been a very long time since I got a new phone so this is why it's taken a while for this video to come back. Let's just get started. First of all, this is my phone in the Sierra Blue. I just have a clear phone case that I got off Amazon. I chose a random one and now she's here. In my case, I have this one sticker. It says, who cares? I don't know. This is my mom's old one. We went through her stickers and I found this. Now it's here. At the top right, I have, this is a sticker, but I cut it out from the sheet because I didn't want to actually stick the sticker onto my phone. This is just a little penguin and a bird and they're so cute. This was from a sticker sheet that was 1995 Sanrio. At the bottom, I just have some washi tape because it looked cute but yeah that's the case pretty simple i always love putting my own stuff in the cases because it's more personal then and it's usually cheaper let's get into the actual phone now when you open my phone, this is my lock screen wallpaper. Honestly, I found this off of Pinterest. Don't know what it is. It's a monkey, of course, but he's really cute. And my goal is to one day find that monkey in real life. I have face ID, so when I open it, this is my first home screen page. My wallpaper in the back, this is a really old picture I have from Hawaii. I just put this really standard like black and white filter from the photo filters on the Apple photo app. And now she's here. I do use widgets to make it look cuter all of those photos for the most part except for maybe like one or two which we'll talk about later i did find everything from pinterest so these are not my photos this first page literally has no purpose these are three widgets that i put up and then each one i just put a different little quote or cute texting that i liked to make the widgets i'll show you that really quick because that took me so long to find the right tutorial for that what you'd want to do is you want to have this app called shortcuts and you would open that and then at the top right you're gonna click the plus then you're gonna click add action open app where it says app in blue the light blue you're gonna click that and then you can just choose like whatever app you wanted and then you would click the setting buttons at the top right add to home screen and then you would just rename this click the box to the left and then you would click choose photo and then you click add and now it's how you make your custom widget this is my home screen it's just cute I just like it at the very bottom bar of my phone I just have what it came with I have the phone Safari music and then my text messages. I could customize these. I didn't actually think about that. My second home screen is where I keep all of my actual apps. These are all Pinterest photos. First, I have YouTube, which makes sense. Nothing crazy going on there, but obviously this seems like a necessity. Next to YouTube, I have YouTube Studio, which is where I can edit YouTube videos, not cutting them and editing them, but editing titles and descriptions and scheduling the uploads and everything like that. And then and I have Pinterest, which we're a fan of. I'm not really crazy on the Pinterest game, seriously, because I know some people make a lot of money from that, but I just go on Pinterest and I just save stuff that I think is cute. And that's basically it. This is my Pinterest. Nothing crazy going on there though. Next to Pinterest, we have TikTok, which I spend way too much time on there, but I have so much fun with it. <laughs> this is my TikTok. It's Mia equals Swag Fairy. It's kind of a mouthful. It's there. And now I've just exposed myself. Good vibes, TikTok, until I spend my all day on it. The next row, I love this picture. The little dogs and it says love. I'm not even a dog person. This one just spoke to me or something. That one is Letterbox. Letterbox is basically just an app where you can add your friends and you can see what films they're watching. You basically log a movie when you watch it and you can review it and rate it and create lists. So I like to create lists. This is my account. It's just me at Aston, but I like to make lists different time periods just because it's fun for me. Time periods. I have a summer one. I've been doing really bad this summer because I've been on the YouTube grind, so prioritizing editing and stuff, and going to the beach. My priorities have not been movies this summer, which they probably should have been, but this is what I've watched so far. Not very much. It's kind of embarrassing, actually. But then I have freshman year stuff from my first year at NYU, and then the COVID year. It's a really good way to find new movies, to like, I love finding new films and adding them to my watch list. Some directors and really notable filmmakers will have this too. You can try and look them up and find them. It's just fun. You can also add your top four favorites. Next to Instagram, I have Snapchat. Hey besties. I don't post on Snapchat really. I just use it to snap some friends back and forth. Snapchat is one that like, if I gave people a heads up, I could delete and be okay forever, I think. 
we'll just say beasted. I make these snapchats and I save them. It's almost like a virtual diary for me because I don't post these anywhere. You just got to see one of them. Next to that I have Notion. Unfortunately I love planning. It's like an agenda thing for me so I can see everything that I have to do in a week. Notion was really helpful for me during school because I love using planners but I kind of just stopped using mine last school year like after the first couple months so it, this was really convenient because it was just on my phone and I had it everywhere. You can do so much with this. I have my personal home where oh I have a lot in there. Film watching list, my reading list. I like to keep track of my books that I'm reading because I have like a reading goal for the whole year. If I get book recommendations I put it in there. I also love the yearly goals because last year I made a yearly goal at the beginning of 2021 and then at the end of the year I totally forgot about it. Didn't even check it during the year and it was so rewarding getting to actually check some of the stuff off. This is my weekly tab that I use the most. The cover photo, label icon, those are all from Pinterest so I'll change that every month. Notion saves me. And then I have Venmo, pretty self-explanatory. Next to that I have Fonto. Fonto is what I use to do a lot of the text on my thumbnails. I have some of my own fonts on here which I've downloaded from defont.com. Then I have Pixar which I use if I needed to do like a collage thumbnail with multiple photos at once or I want to add any photos on top of it. Do whatever you need to do. Next to Pixar I have podcasts. I do love a good podcast. For those of you that have been watching some of my recent vlogs this summer, you would know that I got into the emergency intercom bandwagon, so I've been listening to that, which has been really fun. I used to love Ashley Alexander's Extra Dynamic podcast, but I think she kind of like dropped off with that. Back in 2020, I used to listen to this one called Criminalia when I had my 5 a.m. Trader Joe's shift, so it would be pitch black outside. I'd be driving at like 4.30 in the morning listening to this woman criminal podcast stories. That was fun. And then I have Starbucks. Yeah, I can shamelessly say that I am excited for pumpkin season. It's coming back soon and I'm just ready. So Starbucks is on the homepage. Next to that, I have notes with this really cute My Melody picture. And then I have health, I have mail. On the third page is also kind of another useless page, but it's fun. At the top, I have two more custom widgets. I think these are the medium widgets. This top left one is just an old photo that I found a while ago from when I was probably like 10 years old and it's my name and chicken nuggets. And then to the right, that's just a photo I took the other day of like some of my mom's baby pictures and then underneath that in the middle I have a large widget which usually I'll put like a photo of a friend or with a friend there so this is me and Cho Money this is me and my best friend Emma at the bottom right I have another widget this is an old like baby ish picture order from Wales a long time ago so he just looks so cozy at the bottom left I have this app called Locket which me and some of my friends use and basically it's this app where like you take a photo and everyone who has it downloaded and who has you added, the photo you send will show up on their lock screen. So that one's really fun because it changes every day, all the time. We could add one right now. I think we should add a YouTube one though. I don't love the photo, but I don't hate it either, and I kind of want to stop taking them. So, send. Whether they like it or not, that photo is going to be on their phone home screen. It's a good way to kind of like keep in touch with your friends without like actually keeping in touch with them. Minimal effort. Those are the three main screens that I have, but then on the right side, of course, you have just like all the other apps that aren't on your home screen. On the very left, I use this app called Class Up. Someone showed this to me at the very beginning of my freshman year, and it's so helpful. And basically, you can put your class schedule on it or the semester or whatever and you can imagine that in these little slots where it says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at the top, it'll show each class and how long it is from what time and you can put where it's located. When back to school time comes back around, this whole left screen will be filled with just like my schedule and it's really helpful and it's been so amazing. I also have Instagram but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Wow, it's really hot in here. Anyways, that is pretty much everything that is on my new iPhone. This is a good time to celebrate because I finally have the 0.5 zoom which is so amazing because every time I've been hanging out with my friends I always have to ask to take a picture with their phone and then I'm like Can you send it to me and then I pretend that I've had that I'm self-reliant now I'm independent independent woman thank you so much for watching this video is going up a little bit after I filmed it right now I did just hit 16k the other day so thank you so much yeah maybe I'll see you later maybe I won't but otherwise either way have a great day if you watched all the way through this and you have like a favorite app that I did or did not mention then comment that down below, share the wealth, share with everybody. Bye.